here on this stage, and so we'll have a seat. I have a question for you. Have you ever made a promise to someone? Have you ever promised? Yes? What did you promise to do? To love and to care. That's wonderful. Those are great promises to make. Any other promises that you've made? Yeah. Anybody? How about just practical day-to-day -day things? Anybody promise to clean their room? Nobody. <laughs> this does not ring a bell. Um, promise to help with the dishes? Maybe clear the table or wash or dry some dishes or put them in the dishwasher? Maybe you've made those kind of promises? Yeah, we make promises like that every day to each other. And sometimes we keep them, sometimes we don't keep them, but we hopefully do. When I uh, left yesterday morning, my husband promised to take out the garbage, and I came home last night, and the garbage was taken out. He kept his promise. I was so happy. Way to go, Warren. Thank you. <laughs> but you know what? If he had not done that, I would still love him, right? Because we make promises, like you mentioned, about love and about caring for one another. And those promises we keep for a lifetime. Well, Jesus, or God today, in the Old Testament reading about Abraham, makes a promise to him that he will bless him. In fact, that word blessing, or a form of it, appears five times in just four short verses. And that promise is of, of blessing is one that God keeps and is a great promise that we still trust in today. So I want you to know that you are also blessed, that God has blessed you, and in that blessing and promise, it is that you are God's blessed and loved child from this day forth and forevermore. So I'm going to invite Pastor Jason to come up here for a minute with me, and let's go over here. Where did we hear that first promise of blessing? Well, it was right here at the baptismal font. In these waters, we are named and claimed children of God, and so we are going to bless you and remind you that you are a precious child of God. You are God's precious child, and you are God's precious child. You are blessed with these words. And today is a reminder, you are a precious child of God. Did I get you yet? You are a precious child of God. You are a precious child of God. Has everybody had a chance? Okay. You are a precious child of God. Feels kind of wet, doesn't it? Feels kind of different. Oh, one more? You are a precious child of God. This blessing is yours today, but every day, your whole life long, God's promises never fail. They are always true, and we give thanks for that today. Let us pray. Gracious God, we do ask your blessing upon these children. Thank you that you have named and claimed us in these waters of baptism to be your child forever and that in this gift is also the gift of eternal life. I pray, Lord, that you would continue to guide us in our journey of faith, that we may be a blessing now to others. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Thanks for coming forward.